Heatric has a worldwide reputation for the design and manufacture of printed circuit heat exchangers, or PCHEs. These are robust, corrosion-free, high-integrity plate-type heat exchangers, which are mainly used in the oil and gas industries. A PCHE is manufactured from a number of corrosion-resistant plates that are joined together using a diffusion-bonded construction. Each individual corrosion-resistant plate is nominally a 2mm stainless sheet of steel into which fluid flow channels are chemically etched. These fluid flow channels are typically 2mm wide and 1mm deep semicircles. Sheet sizes can range from 600 by 900 mm to 600 by 1500 mm. Batch sizes can range from one singular plate to an infinite number of identical plates. The fluid flow patterns are bespoke for each exchanger and designed to suit the particular customer requirements. The process that turns a 2mm sheet of metal into a corrosion-resistant plate is called photochemical machining and is one of the key manufacturing technologies at Heatric. Photochemical machining is a burr and stress-free manufacturing process. Unlike conventional metal removal processes, such as milling or laser cutting, photochemical machining does not affect the original properties of the metal sheets by inducing stresses or heat-affected zones. The photochemical machining process can be broken down into six steps. Cleaning, coating with photoresist, called lamination, exposing with film work, developing, etching, and photoresist removal. To begin, the raw 2mm sheets of metal are thoroughly chemically cleaned to remove all contaminants and to prepare the surface for lamination. Once cleaned, the 2mm sheets are coated with a photosensitive polymer. During this lamination process, it is important that contact between the metal and the layer of photoresist is uninterrupted, so an impeccably clean environment is essential. The CAD-designed filmwork, or photo tool, which bears the design pattern to be etched, is then placed on top of the sheet and exposed to a burst of ultraviolet light whilst under vacuum. The ultraviolet light cross-links the areas of the pattern that are not shielded by the black portions of the photo tool. This cross-linking with the photoresist makes that area resistant to acid. The sheet is then developed and any unexposed photoresist is washed away leaving bare metal for the acid to attack. The metal sheet is then sprayed with ferric chloride. Ferric chloride, FeCl3, is a fairly strong Lewis acid. This process dissolves the exposed areas of the metal, ultimately revealing the etched design. During this process, 1 to 1.4 millimeters of metal is etched away from the 2 millimeter sheets. If film work was applied to both sides of the sheet, double-sided etching would occur. This can create holes through the sheet, which form ports when the sheets are bonded into a block. The design of the artwork controls the ridge width and depth of the etch channels. The remaining photoresist is then stripped away to reveal the finished plate. The ferric chloride, now ferrous chloride, having changed state during the etching process, is then regenerated. By the addition of chlorine gas, the ferrous chloride, FeCl2, is regenerated to ferric chloride, FeCl3, ready to be reused in the etching process. Each plate takes an hour to produce, and neither quality or speed are affected by the complexity of the etch design. The finished plates will be rigorously quality checked and are then ready to form part of a PCHE core. Heatrix Photochemical Machining Plant near Birmingham is the largest etching plant in the world and etches three tons of metal each day, making it a world leader in photochemical machining.